The capital region is covered with beautiful forests. There's one so ancient, though, tucked away in the Catskills, it was once a turning point in Earth's history, making way for new life. A forest full of tree fossils, researchers from all over the world visit to study Earth's past. Tonight, News 10's Trishna Begum showing us how they're trying to protect that local discovery at all costs. Rooted deep within the lush landscape of Greene County sits a site giving us a glimpse into the past. It's the best discovery I'll ever make in my life. State geologist Chuck Verstratton has made a career out of reading the rocks. Twelve years ago, his eye caught something unusual at an abandoned quarry. And I just noticed there was a little bit of a gutter feature like that. For the untrained eye, it's easier to spot from above. The jagged lines all lead to one point. Just stop right here. What else could it be? Those are tree roots and this is where a tree stood. And not just any old tree. These trees are 385 million years old. Dwarfing even the arrival of the dinosaurs, Chuck's discovery rocking the geological world. This is the oldest known fossil forest in the world. This is life's ancient history. This is the deep, deep history of New York State. A team of researchers studied the roots and identified three different types of trees thriving together. My gosh, here was another tree standing right here. The far-reaching roots imprinted in the ground remained undisturbed for now. Here's the best one. The unprotected area so valuable to researchers, we won't give away the exact location. Some of the history here being preserved at the New York State Museum. This is actually a plate from a fish that was preserved in Cairo. These fossil fish were washed in during a flooding event. Lisa Amadi walks us through the room where the plant fossils found throughout the state are stored to give us a better idea of what trees 385 million years ago looked like. This is a trunk of the Eos firmatopterus trees. Understanding present ecosystems requires that we understand how they formed in the first place. But the world's oldest fossil forest remains an open space, opening itself up to degradation. People can ride four-wheelers across here if they get through. Because of the sensitivity of the site, we don't want to drill to put fence posts into the rock. So we're putting concrete barriers around the whole site with a fence on top of it. Five, six. Making it a costly geological gem to preserve, but it comes with the potential to make Cairo a destination. It's a very long process, but in order to get the interest of even New York State to turn into a state park, you have to cross all these hurdles. But the oldest fossil forest in the world offers us all one thing. The perspective of time all these massive changes on our planet. Significant lessons as the town looks to preserve nature's footprint for future generations. Now, ideally, they're hoping to see a partnership with a college, put in an educational site there maybe for people to explore. Joe said that's more of a 10-year vision. First, they need to find more funding, do a feasibility study. Shorter term, that fencing he was talking about will go up sometime in the fall. Lydia, Saul. Well, Trishna, are they worried about people stumbling on the site and just taking something from there? Yeah, that's actually one of their main concerns because it is such an open space. There's no signage there, so if people stumble upon it, they're really not sure what they're looking at. If you're not with an expert, it's really hard to tell what you're even looking at, so they're really stressing if someone happens to know where it is, stumbles upon it to do the right thing, just leave it alone. All right, could even damage it. Like they said, if you go mm -hmm. with a four-wheeler over it and don't know it's there. Exactly. Great story. Thank you, Trishna. Absolutely. Great stuff, Trishna. And